today we are talking about five things that you can start prepping today right now that you can preserve for long term and you can do it for five dollars a week so the first um, thing we're going to go over now this is actually an optional item which would be meat so meat is optional you could um, bypass this all together in your long term and you know that's up to you um, if you want instead of this you could do uh, chicken um, well instead of like meat like chicken it would be like the cheapest option so let's just go over this first and I have a variety of chickens today on my table that I wanted to show you that I grabbed from Aldi so they didn't have any on clearance I am able to get it like 50% off but they actually said we apologize for the lack of product so I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to find those 50% offs anymore but either way this is a dollar ninety nine a pound this is the most expensive one but you're getting the most meat without any fat or bone. It's a boneless, skinless chicken breast. It has a 15% chicken broth. So, perfect for long-term preservation. Um, think canning. Think pressure canning. Okay. So, and then we have a whole chicken right here. It says it contains less than 7% water. These are 99 cents a pound. 97 cents a pound. We have the leg quarters. This has the most fat and um, bone. And so these are the bag of leg quarters was, um, I don't know if you can see this receipt, but it's $5.25 for the bag. I'm thinking it was 29 cents a pound. Uh, 10 pounds, so that's 52 cents a pound. And then we have the uh, chicken thighs, and that's $1.19 a pound. And these, um, I believe, yeah, are bone, bone in, but they don't have a lot of bones in them. So this would be the, basically the process is, you know, from least amount of bone to highest amount of bone is uh, most expensive to cheapest. So any of these will do. Whatever your preference is, I've done them all and I, I have them all here and I plan on canning them all up. And you can can up any of these. You can do the cold or the water bath. Make sure you look at that video. I'll make a link to that and how to pressure can chicken and here's my pressure can chicken and some broth and I just do the whole fat broth you can do the clean method taking all the fat off I wanted that full flavor fat to use for uh, soups and such I have opened both the um, chicken and the broth and they taste delicious and here's my potatoes look at that they're white and you put a little vinegar in there. But I just started um, canning, so a little excited about that. The next item we're going to um, talk about would be oatmeal. I got a couple of different containers of oatmeal here that I got from local HUB to Texas Place. So we have the 42 ounce, which is 2 pounds, 10 ounces, and we have the 18 ounce, 1 pound, 2 ounces. And so the 42 ounce is going to be around $2.50, depending on your area. And these are the quick oats. You can get the uh, still cut, which is around $3 for one of these. If you want the more healthy, um, higher fiber, I believe it has higher fiber amounts in it. But in my opinion, this works just great and it's cheap and anyone can stock up on it. And that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the uh, cheap, 
healthiest, cheapest items. So that's what my list is focused on, on the most healthy and cheapest items. Okay. So the next item would be peanut butter. So um, in my area, I found the cheapest off-brand peanut butter, uh, like Walmart peanut butter is $1.35 for 18 ounces. So if you want to just focus on $5 a week, you could do one week where you do two of the big canisters of oatmeal. The next week you could do four things of peanut butter. And then the next week, rice. So it just depends on if you want the white or the whole grain rice. I prefer the whole grain rice because that's going to be uh, more filling. But when you talk about long term storage, you're going to want to focus on white rice because uh, it stores better. Uh, oats and well, anything with uh, wheat is not going to store as good for long term. So rice is around, I, I've seen it for around 72 cents a pound. You might find a better deal at a bigger bulk quantity, but if you're looking at three to five pound bags, it's around 72 cents a pound. So you could get around uh, five bags, five pounds of rice for the third week. And then we have beans. There's all kinds of beans. So I just looked at the um, pinto beans, uh, the dry bulk pinto beans were around 72 cents a pound. Now, I used to think, why am I going to make my own beans when I can get it for uh, 50 to 65 cents a pound? Because this is uh, water. And when you can it, it expands. So you're actually getting, James, no, no, James, come here. You don't come in here and just get into stuff. Good morning. So you're getting about three times as much draw in comparison, uh, or at least double. I, I might be wrong on that, y'all, but you're at least getting twice as much. So it's actually cheaper um, price-wise, and it's really not that hard. I have canned beans. Beans were the first thing I did, and that was a pressure canner fell, which I will leave that link also. But you cannot be afraid to fail. You gotta be able to fall on your face flat and in order to go somewhere. You gotta fail in order to succeed. Don't be afraid to fall. Okay, so that is our last item because chicken was the first one that I did. But um, another um, option is uh, vegetables, frozen vegetables and frozen fruit, which you can can both of these items. I have preserved uh, frozen fruit in a low sugar, uh, I use stevia, you don't have to use sugar to preserve uh, canned fruit. So I will do, I will eventually do a video on that. I, I do plan on canning up some no sugar apples soon. I have to get the um, apple pillar and cooler uh, core to take out the uh, core and my apples are over here. I have I have about nine pounds of apples, so that will do quite a few um, jars. So I'm excited to do some apples. I'm just going to add cinnamon to them and just have plain uh, baked cinnamon apples. Um, so I try to uh, stay away from sugar just because um, I've had prediabetes. I'm 42. I'm all natural. I stay off of medication. Um, it's very important to me to um, we don't have insurance, we don't go to the doctors. And so the hope of this world is Jesus. And there is a few doctors and nurses who are standing up for natural health. That gives me some hope and humanity. I don't have much hope in humanity. So that is really good to see the doctors and nurses who are standing up for the more natural protocols and just the ingest of not having a choice. We need a choice. We should all have a choice. That's the main thing. So now you have an option, you have a choice. I hope this video gave you some hope that you can get started prepping. You can um, 
do one or two items extra a week and start building up your prepper pantry, I'm nowhere near where I would like to be. I'll give you a quick tour of mine from walking in the door. This is a room that is badly painted. So this has our supplements and it's mostly vitamins. This is uh, also mine for mood health. I take this every day, the turmeric. Love, love turmeric. I just started getting the vitamin D3. Now this is the only uh, over the counter and I got these because they were on sale. And I thought, you know, long term that would be a good item to trade. So I was thinking along that line. Got the immunity gummies, the elderberry gummies. These are one of my favorite snacks. These are like a little treat to add into the coffee. Not all natural. I try to stay away from artificial sweeteners. I got, I got some um, spices up there. This just has like warm light and heat and extra supplements. It's kind of a mess. This is our extra fridge, um, which I do not have. I think my big generator will work on this, but my cellar one won't. That's why I'm trying to work towards canning everything. Because that way, if you have everything canned, then you won't have to worry so much. There's my deep freezer I've had for a really long time. We painted the top a chalkboard. <laughs> and that's the chicken. This is another shelf that I'm about to install in here. I'm going to put it over here. And so, yeah, I have a lot of work to do in here. This is my portable buddy. 4,000 to 9,000 BTU. Mr. Heater, that's an indoor heat off of propane. And then you can see this shelf is it's looking bare. I, I did place two big orders today, Walmart and HEB. So um, I keep this room at between under, usually around 65. Right now it's almost 70 because the door is open. Um, but in the future, I hope that this will be all canned, preserved, uh, jarred foods. That's my goal. And my goal is also to have 100 gallons of water. Here's my buckets. Dried rice and beans, which I will be preserving. Got a couple more buddy heaters. I'm going to give those to my mom and a friend. I have some Augustin Farm stuff up here. We have propane stuff over here and my husband's guitar. Totes, which I keep stuff in. I was locking things in the totes because my four-year-old will just get into everything. But now I have a lock on this uh, door. So that keeps the little stinker out. So I hope you guys like this content. Remember to, um, plant a seed where you are, literally in the ground, and just do what you can with where you're at. The main thing is that you start today, you start now, preparing for whatever may come, and to know the Lord. Y'all have a blessed day.